Hey guys, it's John Tom from Total Bar Hammer. Looks like we're finding XJ today on the Southern Chaos Void. So a pretty open map. We got a little bit of terrain here. So uh, let's go Chaos. Looks like he's going Dwarves. Fine with that. Who do we want as a Lord? Let's go ahead and grab Starthrill the Everwatcher. I feel like he's a great choice. He has his armor piercing buff. We will go ahead and grab Plague of Rust. We'll just grab the debuff spells here and Train Mutation of Lead. It should help us out a bit. We're going to grab one Forsaken, and we're going to use that in tandem with the Plague of Rust, so hopefully we can do a lot of good work with these guys, because they do have very high DPS. We're going to go pretty wide here. Let's grab some Chaos Marauders. Let's grab some Chaos Warriors with great weapons. Let's also grab some Chariots. Now, I'm not going for the Armor Piercing ones, because I feel like the regular Chariots are, well, they're much cheaper, as you can see, by, uh, how much is that? 450? 550? Something like that. No, that's 550. Anyway. Is it 550? You know, I can't do math, guys. That's 450. Right? Anyway. So we're going to grab two of those guys. Mm. We're going to grab one group of hounds. And we're just going to use these guys to chase off routing guys. And you know what? I've heard that Chaos Trolls... Chaos Armor Trolls are pretty dang good now. So perhaps we'll try some of those guys. Yeah, I think we'll go pretty wide here. Let's grab three of these guys. I'd like to get another one of these. Let's grab one of these guys, and we'll put the rest of our money into chevrons for these guys. So uh, a lot of armor piercing here, a lot of anti dwarf. We'll see. What, we'll see what we get here. You know, what, maybe I cut one of these guys, grab another one of these guys, and then add some more chevrons here. There we go. So 46 leadership. Let's uh, let's do it. Let us do it, Akshay. So we're going to need to advance pretty fast here. Wide open map, he's going to have some cannons. We have a leader that is... What has he got? 70% resistance to missiles, so that'll be pretty good there. I'll try to close him in battle, because I know they changed it from the first game, but I think it's 70% now. I think it was 75% earlier in the first game. So, uh, that was 250 plus 200. Yeah, that was 450. Didn't trust my own math even when I got right the first time. So, there's going to be a tournament this weekend, and uh, I'm thinking about doing it, because that's going to be in all the new meta, but, you know, I'm just not on those guys' levels. But I'll do it if y'all want me to, and if I have the time. It's uh, one of those all-day tournaments, so uh, it's Swiss format. So it's not elimination. You play all the matches and see how far, and see who has the most points at the very end. Maybe if I get Sakarma to hang out with me all day and do it, I'll do it. I don't know. I don't know. Depends if I have someone to hang out with. Of course, Gobble King will. You can hang out with him, but he's also going to be cast. So, we usually hang out and uh, chat in between matches. But uh, maybe if us Karma's around, we'll do a whole live streaming ourselves. That'll be pretty cool. You can switch between perspectives. Alright. Grab a Star Thrill, front and center. Let's go ahead and put my chariots in the back flanks. Let's mix in our Marauders with our Chaos Wars Great Weapons. You know what, I'm going to put the Chaos Wars Great Weapons on the edges because uh, I'm going to want to get them engaged with Slayers and they usually have Slayers on the edges of the formation. And yeah, that'll be a good idea because they'll go after the Chariots and then they'll get into combat with these armored Chaos Wars Great Weapons. And Slayers will wreck these lightly armored Chaos Mars with great weapons, but they will not do much against these uh, Chaos Warriors with great weapons as they have 100 armor. So we're going to put this guy in a group. Like I said, he's just for feasting on routing units. We're going to put these guys everywhere our Chaos Marauders are to get in some more armor piercing and uh, help hold these. These guys can help hold each other together, really. And we're going to put you on the left flank here. And we're going to use Plague of Rust to help those guys out. So I'm liking it. Let's do it. Let's see if this strategy works. So my opponent has a bigger army than mine. Went wider. I like it. But I do have three troll units. I only have 12. And I have a lot of chariots too. So we'll see. So start advancing immediately. Looks like he has a cannon. A bunch of miners with blasting charges. Some hammerers. Interesting. Interesting. One unit of slayers. So, a very interesting army here. Let's go ahead and move up. I'm going to see if I can get Starthrill to bait out a bunch of charges here. Because these guys are on the edge. If I can get them on the Slayers, that'd be great. Move you guys up. And let's move you guys around back. 
All right, so lots of minor blasting charges. So he's going to do some good initial damage, and then he's hoping to come in with these hammers and just finish this off. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right. And do Slayers have any armor at all? They don't. And he is shooting at Sarthrel. So this is a mistake, guys. Like I said, Sarthrel has 60. Okay, so 60 in this game. There's 70 in the last game. 60% missile resistance, so he is just blocking a ton of that. And he's going to take a lot of damage if I get him, throw his charges at him, but uh, I feel like it's going to be worth it compared to the rest of my army. Getting damage from the rest of them. So, Longbeard, great weapons. These guys don't have charge defense against large. Hammers don't have charge defense against large. So, just, so we, he is knocking down Sotharel. So that's pretty good. Get you on them. Let's get you on them. Get you on them. You can get on them. You can just get in here, Sotharel. You can come around the corner here. Come around the corner here. And let's start getting you guys into combat here. Let's get you guys in here. Oh, let's start hitting up these... Uh, Easy units here. What is that thing? Let's get them behind our lines. Okay, so we did get hit by the slayers. That's not going to be good. Let's drop this transmutation of lead to reduce his damage. Wow! Look how fast he's dying to those slayers. What the hell? Alright, so that's interesting. Let's get these guys run back and have these guys going to them. These guys going to them. Let's have you over here. And Sartharel is going down. So let's try to pop this off before we die. Man, I wasn't expecting him to die that fast. So let's get you over here, have you guys run back around here, you guys can get into these hammers. Man, I wasn't expecting that. Let's get you guys into here. You guys can come back into these hammers, you guys can come with these guys. Is, and is that another... that's a Wrath of Moon, I think. So, uh, his units on the edges are falling apart and his formation seems to be falling apart pretty well. We'll see what we can do here. Let's get you guys into combat here. Yeah, those, uh... Those Myers Blasting Charges just did not last. Get you guys coming through here. And, man, I like I like what he did there with the, uh... I was not expecting Sarthral to go down that fast to the Slayers and the Runesmith. Like, wow. But, uh, that's good to know. That's real good to know. But it looks like his infantry just fell apart. Like, not even close. Let's get you guys in here. Get you guys women. Sorry about my phone there, guys. And these guys are just chasing down these guys as I wanted them to. And let's get you guys running into these hammers. So, yeah, we've got some routing units coming back. Let's get you guys moving. And right now, it's just all about microing my cannons. So let's get you guys, not my cannons, but my chariots. Let's get you guys over there. You guys can go run down these guys, these uh, rangers. Gobble King gave me some good advice. He said I need to start using the name of the units, which I know I do. But uh, it's like hard to think of each of the names in the middle of combat. But I'll try to do this. So I'll get my Chaos Chariots moving. Let's go hit the back of these hammers in force. These guys are running down some longbeards. I want them to get on these rangers. Don't want them to come back because they have quite a few units left. I feel like we're doing pretty good here. I mean, we just have so much left. Let's get you guys to come back over here. Get my Chaos Chariot's moving. We got some Chaos Marauders coming back to the battle. And then left. Looks like we're good. We got our Warhounds still chasing down these guys, making sure they do not come back. And let's get you guys to come into these Roman Guard. I'm just running around with these Chaos Chariots, just absolutely wrecking. These guys aren't actually engaged. That's an unfortunate glitch. This guy, these Chaos Warhounds have destroyed these rangers. Let's get on that artillery crew. We definitely want to uh, get army losses to kick in here soon. So let's get y'all. Let's get these Chaos Chariots coming back around to hit these guys. And I mean, he's just got lords left, which is how it usually goes when fighting against the dwarves. So my Chaos Warhounds are taking down these Longbeards and this cannon crew over here. And we are doing pretty good. We got Shatters going down. And I think, yeah, he's going to hit army losses real soon here. So, I have got to say, what's this guy's name? Akshay, great job on Sartharel. Alright, I, I know Sartharel isn't the best melee lord. He's better against uh, units that, I mean, lightly armored units, mass units. So he's good AoE, not good against lords. But I gotta say, I was not expecting in the time that it took for that Tormentor sword to wear off. For him to be hurt that hard 
Like, did y'all see how much damage he just took from the charge? And only a few Slayers actually made contact with him. Just a Runesmith and a few Slayers. That was ridiculous. I was not expecting him to go down that much. I was expecting him to survive. Not with a with probably like 25% health, honestly. But I gotta say, great move, XJ. Uh, I, I don't think your miners with Blasting Charges were a great idea in this matchup. Just because Blasting Charges aren't great against armor. And I think you rely too heavily on them as well. I mean, they were your whole front line, and they just fell apart so fast. I think you definitely needed more Slayers, because Chaos tend to bring a uh, large, and look at these Ch Chaos Armor Trolls. They did great. They have regeneration, and you know what? With these Chevrons, they never even routed. So these guys turned out doing absolutely fantastic. All my guys got a lot of kills. I mean, look at this. I like this. Uh, <laughs> kind of funnily, the uh, Chaos Chariots actually got less kills than most of my other guys, so... But uh, I think they did a lot of HP damage. Or maybe not. I mean, but the trolls, definitely MP, MVPs here. Chaos Warriors. I mean, yeah. This, I liked it. I liked my build. Uh, now I know to use Sarthra a little bit more conservatively because that Tormentor Sword was powerful. But uh, yeah, that's going to be all for this one, guys. This is John Ton for Total Bro Hammer signing out.